The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. A lot of times the ER is frantic. Sometimes, although less common, it's calm. And sometimes it's just plain odd. That's right, we've got strange stories from inside the emergency room. It's time for Bizarre in the ER. <laughs> Word <laughs> to the wise. This is important. Doing quick touch-ups on makeup can have ugly consequences. The passenger in a cab applying eyeliner on the way to see friends. The taxi driver crashed into a pickup truck in front while driving in traffic. The passenger slammed into the front seat, thrusting the pencil into her left eye. You're seeing the pictures right here, right now. Ouch. Yeah. So we have ophthalmologist, eye surgeon, and author of Perceptual Intelligence, Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler here. Now, you would look at that and think she's blind for the rest of her life. They say that her vision is fine. What's going on, Doc? Well, looking at that picture, clearly it looks like something really serious happened to her eyes and her vision. But the chances of that eyeliner pencil barely missing the eye and going into the conjunctiva membrane right next to the eye and not puncturing the eye and popping like a balloon, she must have had Lucky Charms for breakfast that morning. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the reason, astonishingly, that she is retaining her vision and not blind in that eye. Wow. So Brian, question, when you see penetrating injuries, other parts of the body, the rule of thumb is leave it as it, until they come see you. Is this true for this type of case as well? Totally, you do not want to start taking whatever stuck in your body out like that, especially around your eye, because you don't know what type of damage you might do by removing it. So the natural instinct, which clearly was hers too, was to not mess with it. She was probably in such shock of what happened that she didn't do the wrong thing and try to take it out. So bizarre in the ER, two lessons from the ophthalmologist. I would presume that the lesson here is that you never apply makeup and eyeliner either in a moving vehicle or while you're walking because I mean, if you're doing anything and you're moving, I'm assuming this is quite possible. It's never a good idea to put on makeup in the car as a driver but also as a passenger. Yeah, and I, and I right? think a lot of women make this mistake. Like, I'm gonna confess, I've done this. I've been in the back of a, of a ride share on my way somewhere running late, and I'm thinking, Doctor. oh, someone else is driving. I'm just gonna get ready. And it's, it's a really good reminder that this can happen. But oof, I'm never doing it again after seeing this photo. It Dr. Dr. Bakra, I have a solution for you. So when you're running late, you simply just get out of the car, do your makeup, and then get back in. <laughs> Then you'll be safe, as long as you don't get hit by a car next to you. Right, exactly. As long as I don't go into the street to do it, I'll be fine. Doc, we always appreciate your input.